Hey, what's up triathletes? Taryn here with the current Ironman age group North American champion, Nicole Walker. She's been testing out the Hoob Atana women's wetsuit for the last three months. Stick around, we're gonna go through all the ins and outs of the wetsuit. Okay, so the Hoob Atana women's wetsuit is their mid-level wetsuit coming in at $580. It's the 3-3 wetsuit, so there's three millimeters of rubber on the top, three millimeters on the bottom. So Nicole, when we first started looking at wetsuits, Hoob was one of the wetsuits that you really wanted to try out. Yeah. Why was that? Well, immediately, it was the look of the wetsuit. Yeah. I mean, as for as much as they're known for their performance, I think they're also really well designed suits and aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. And it happened to be pink, which is my signature color. Exactly. <laughs> if it could all be pink, it'd be even better. <laughs> Hoob, custom pink wetsuits? Yeah, there we go, yeah. So Nicole, you wanted to try the 3-3 because you're a very kick dominant swimmer that kicks my ass in the pool all the time on the kick sets. Tell us about your first impressions of the Atana. Well, when I first opened it up, I thought it looked about half the size of me. Um, luckily though, actually based on the size guidelines that they gave, it was the right size. So yeah. it looked small, but it stretched out and fit nicely. Yeah, but it, it fit great. Yeah, so if you follow their sizing online, you're gonna get very close. You might be a little bit shocked when you pull it out of the box. Yeah. Yeah, but the nice thing about that is that it doesn't carry a lot of water. So it makes you a little bit faster when you're out in the open water because you're not carrying a lot of extra in your back, yes. under your armpits. Not at all. Yeah. That's probably one of the highlights of the suit is that it doesn't carry any water. No chafing, which was really great. Um, I found when I first got it on, it's like it, you have to wiggle it on and for how tight it is, it's actually very flexible. How about the inside of the suit? I found oh, the inside it's like pajamas. Was... <laughs> like pajamas? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Super nice, yeah. eh? Yeah. yeah. Usually I find in my elbows, the crease of my elbows, but yeah, I, had, I didn't have any chafing with this suit at all. It just, it fits like a glove, so yeah. fit-wise it's really good. Now, as far as tightness goes, what I found with the Arius is that the shoulders were a little bit tight. It loosened up where my shoulders got maybe stronger, whatever it was, it took a while to get used to how the shoulders felt. Yeah, I actually found, I agreed with you at first, and then I figured out just to like get the arms up a little bit higher, and then I found that it was it was great. Sometimes adding a little bit of water into the suit, like if I just open, pull the, the neck open, let a little water in, I could get it up higher. So there's a good tip for you. Walk everyone through how the Atana is built. I really like their um, getting out of their suit, their options. So it's a little tricky to get in, but once you pull your suit all the way up like this, when you're getting out of the water, instead of pulling it down, you keep pulling it up like this, and then it just rips open. So when you're running out of the water, it's really nice. That's my favorite part of the suit. So I'm gonna talk about the exoskeleton here, and this is the same in the Arius as it is in the Atana. What the exoskeleton is, is another panel that goes all the way down the back of the wetsuit, goes around the legs, and then you can see that it comes around the front of the quad. And the reason that that's another panel is it's a bit stiffer neoprene than the flexible three millimeters all the way around the suit. And what that does is it locks your core in. And why that stiffer panel exists is because you want a little bit of stability around your core because some swimmers do tend to snake side to side in the water and that creates drag as your legs are whipping out. What I found is that this level of wetsuit isn't quite as stiff as those eight or $900, $1,000 level wetsuits. So if you have a real tendency to move side to side, it's not gonna fix all of that for you. But if you just want a little bit of stability while still staying flexible, yeah. this is gonna do well. I it thought it stuff. held you in a little bit, but I thought it still gave you fluidity to move. Tell me how easy or hard it was to get off. Yeah, actually that was another good thing about the suit because once you peeled the, the top piece down, you could pull your arms out fairly easily. I didn't ever have a problem even without body glide. There's no extra ring of a cuff around the end, so Although it's tight when it's on, when you went to pull it off, it went over your wrist really easily. One thing that you've mentioned to me a fair bit over the last few months is how you sat in the water. Tell us about that. Yeah, I thought initially with the 3-3 that I would like sitting lower in the water, considering again, I'm such a kick dominant swimmer. However, I found that I think you need to be a stronger swimmer yet to get that benefit. I found that I was sitting almost too low, like I would have enjoyed a little bit more flotation. So the types of people that would really like this wetsuit would be? Like your, your triathletes that are coming from a swim background. Okay. I think they would really like it because they're not looking for the flotation 
as much. And then that also relates to triathletes coming from a swim background that don't need that stability snaking side to side yeah. and want that pure mm -hmm. flexibility. Yeah, I think maybe, I like the idea of it being the same um, top and bottom, like the okay. same thickness top and bottom, but I think a 4-4 would give me that little bit more flotation, yet still balanced. There's one other thing that as we're here at the Duluth Superior Man Half Iron Man, that's a really good point to know about this 3-3 setup for a wetsuit. Tell us about that. Yeah, I didn't really know this until, until we got here because I haven't been in this cold of water, but I'm finding that it's a lot cooler than maybe a thicker suit probably coming from less material mm -hmm. so maybe it's not ideal if you're going to be in a very cold lake Oops I mean where we are it's we've, I've had no problem all summer mm -hmm. swimming in it and I've always been very comfortable but in a cooler lake like this I notice there is a difference however that's kind of the trade-off that you're gonna to have to make getting the 3-3 three, three, and with that the flexibility. One thing that I'll say that I noticed, I don't know if you did it all, but comparing my men's area suit to some of the other high-end wetsuits that I've tried, it wore down basically not at all. Some of the other wetsuits that are three millimeters thick, they start wearing really quickly. I didn't notice that at all in mine. Do you yeah. have any areas that are wearing in yours? No, I mean, I've worn this all summer and I think it looks pretty much brand new considering how much I've swam in it. So Nicole, bottom line, who is really gonna like the women's Atana? Well, I think somebody who's got a very balanced stroke. Um, so maybe somebody coming from a, a swim background. I think it's got great flexibility. So if you're looking for that in your shoulders and, and just kind of even through your hips and kick, um, I think it's good. I think the trade-off is that for the flexibility, it's a little bit of a cooler suit. For the price point, I think it kind of gives you a bit of everything. It's a very well-rounded suit. I think it's got everything, just not quite to the top on each, but it doesn't really have any major negatives or major glaring downfalls either. So thank you very much, Hoob, for letting Nicole try the women's Atana. One thing that I want to mention is that Nicole is building up for her very first dance out at Kona. Where do you want people to follow you as you're going through your journey to get ready for it? Uh, you can follow me along on Instagram at underscore Nick underscore Walker underscore. It's a tough one, but I'll put it somewhere down in the video and link to it in the description below. If you want any more info about the Hoob Women's Atana or the Men's Arius, I'll link to that in the description below and all the details will be on the Hoob website there. As always, happy and hard training and good luck in your next triathlon. And, I'll wear that. and when you put it on, the way that the pink is cut, it's actually very flattering really? as far as wetsuits go. I may have to borrow this later. Mm -hmm. We'll give it a try. Am I holding this? Hold it up. Yeah. Uh...